Um, thank you all so much for being here today. As communicated at your first gathering, we'd like to begin this time and every time by acknowledging that the land threatened by these pipelines has been stolen once before from the indigenous peoples of those areas and that it's indigenous land that we stand on today and that it's indigenous peoples who started and lead the pipelines resistance movement. Uh, a lot has happened in the short five-day period since we last gathered. Uh, we learned that both the West Virginia and Virginia State Police Agencies are working to extract the heroes in the trees on Peters Mountain who are doing the job that our DEQ and governor refused to do, which is to protect the people and the environment from corporate abuse and greed. Um, we learned that the DEQ has approved the inadequate erosion and sediment control plans for the Mountain Valley Pipeline and that they kept that approval hidden for quite a while before releasing, releasing it. And they've done this again without public input and at the behest of the pipeline applicants, not the people. We also know that ACP LLC reported its own violations to the DEQ, proving that DEQ is not monitoring the ac activities of the pipeline applicants. To the delight of the pipeline companies, the DEQ is instead allowing the companies to ensure their own compliance, which we all know they will not comply. Their long track records of environmental abuse are proof. And on top of all this, we've learned that Governor Northam, who has refused to acknowledge us, refused to stop serving Dominion en Energy, and who has refused to stand with the Virginians he has sworn to protect, said at a meeting of Richmond's business leaders that he supports an all of the above energy policy, including the natural gas pipelines, which shame on him. So I think we should all shame the governor in his office right now. So. Shame, shame, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. So we are here today again to remind the governor that we the people require him to do the right thing, stop the pipelines, and that we the people will not go away. He can keep trying to hide from this, but it won't do him a lick of good because we won't go away. After we finish up here, we're going to go march to the DEQ and remind them of the same exact thing. We'll also deliver letters to both. And um, we've got our puppets here again today, since in reality they're puppets to greed. And we've also got someone else who's going to join us for DEQ, David Paler. So we'll switch heads when we go to the DEQ. Um, so that's it. Yeah, do you guys want to do some chants? Yeah, we can uh, or do direct them towards them and also to the building because they are listening and they will stick their heads out. So, do we want these pipelines? No, no. fracking way. That's fine. <laughs> Let's do it. Do yeah. we want these pipelines? No, no fracking, fracking way. way. Do we want these pipelines? No, no fracking, fracking way. way. Do we want these pipelines? No, no fracking, fracking way. way. Do we want these pipelines? No, no fracking, fracking way. Once more. Do we want these pipelines? No, no fracking, fracking way. way. Can you stop these pipelines? Yes, yes you can. can. Can you stop these pipelines? Yes, yes you can. can. Can you stop these pipelines? Yes, you 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 can. Water is life. 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 People over. Uh, the child care center. The child care center. Having. Okay. And we're not we didn't saying say anything. Say anything. Yeah, we we're not saying any bad words. Don't worry. People over profit. 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 Once more, people over profit. Okay, we've got uh, 
one more for here and it's Northam come off it don't sell our state for profit Northam come off it don't sell our state for profit Northam come off it don't sell our state for profit Northam come off it don't sell our state for profit Northam come off it don't sell our state for profit once more Northam come off it don't sell our state for profit For a little bit, um, I have the Northam letter, which I'll read, and we have copies if y'all want to si uh, sign it. But whoops, thanks, Andrew. If y'all, uh, we would invite everybody to say a few words if you would like to say something today, and we'll just go down the line. <sighs> the damage to our environment and to our communities across Virginia and the paths of these pipelines is totally preventable. Dr. Northam, as a pediatric neurologist, just imagine the neurology of the watersheds and the rivers and the streams as they head to the coastal plain. You're taking bulldozers and dynamite to the nervous system of our state. Shame on you. I'm from a community in southwestern Virginia called Bent Mountain, and this is the last week that the Mountain Valley Pipeline has legally has the availability to cut down trees. So we on in that community are fully in, expecting a full-scale invasion of out-of-state employees and workmen for the Mountain Valley Pipeline coming through our community, through our private property as much as they want to with their security guards. This is a complete invasion of our homes, our farms, our lives. And it is destroying my beautiful rural community of Bent Mountain. And it is inexcusable because once those trees are cut and those bulldozers come in, that community will never be the same again. And this and if this is not prevented, it is your fault that this community is being destroyed. Thank you for everyone coming out. Thank you once again to our brave tree sitters that are sitting out there. Prayers up for them and for all those who are on the front lines all over the state and in West Virginia and North Carolina. Shame on you, Dr. Northam, for damaging our community. Um, my heart goes out to all of those along the uh, Mountain Valley Pipeline who have been suffering for years now in anticipation of just this decision. Um, I, I, I believe we should challenge the governor and uh, David Paler and Tom Farrell to actually witness firsthand the destruction of these communities that are going to be directly affected. Speak directly to landowners. Don't hide behind these walls, in these private rooms. Come out and see the communities as you would a disaster site. Those, those photo ops that happen with disasters where the governor comes, um, this is what has to happen for this Mountain Valley pipeline and all of the destruction that will happen as a result of it. So part of the message that we're going to deliver to the governor today is contained in this letter. Thank you, Barb. Ralph Northam, we're contacting you again to ask that you step up for Virginia for its waterways, its residents, its future, and against the Mountain Valley and Atlantic Coast pipelines. We ask that you exercise your authority over the MVP and ACP review processes. You let the public know with your February 14, 2017 letter to the DEQ that you recognize site-specific permitting would be the most thorough and transparent means in which to review the projects. The DEQ, under the less than watchful eye of former Governor McAuliffe, gave preference to pipeline applicants over the public, allowing years of meetings geared towards approval and mitigation and offering the Virginia public just five hearings. 
You, as a man of science, know that study, research, and data are the best means for determining potential outcomes. We can also use the existing data and visual evidence in other states where EQT contractor precision pipeline has been cited for violations in three other projects or to the history of Dominion's lack of regard for our waterways, the Elizabeth River, the Quantico Creek, at every power station along the James River where coal ash water sloughs into the James. What a power, powerful and positive chance you have to make safety the main priority. Exercise your ability to do so. Governor Northam, keep your promises to protect Virginians, their property rights, their water, their environment. We ask you again to do the following. Direct the DEQ, who is not king, to give the State Water Control Board back their autonomy and give them the ability to review input uh, over the erosion sediment and stormwater plans for the MVP. You did this behind their backs. You did this weeks ago and only announced it to, what, coincide with the petition drop? They do not have the legal authority to make the final decision. The DEQ does not. The Water Board should and asked for that. You need to reinstate their Water Board's ability to have input on the ACP plans, too. They said this explicitly at the December 12th meeting. Halt the felling of trees along the paths. Do not un allow under any circumstances felling past those deadlines. Rescind the memorandums of agreement that Governor McAuliffe signed with ACP and EQT that released them for monetary liability above the amounts of $27.5 million for the MVP and $58 for the ACP. These agreements were made without public notice. They don't provide funding for the localities along the pass. They were also made before final certification. Direct the DEQ to perform site-specific permitting. You said this yourself. You used it as a tool to convince people you were an environmentalist when you were running against Periello. And let's look back to your own words. Prove it. Prove that you really care about this. Match your opposition to offshore drilling to another example of ruinous fossil fuel projects, the fracked gas MVP and ACP. The offshore drilling would affect your communities. And there is a potential pipeline coming down the eastern shore of Maryland and Virginia. Is that when you're going to care? When it's literally in your neighborhoods? Sever your relationship with the ACP applicant, Dominion Energy. There's only one way to protect Virginia and our water, stop the pipelines. So at this time, we were, yes, we're going to march over to the DEQ. Everyone's invited. We're going to bring the twins. We're going to bring the signs. Shame on you, DEQ! 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 Shame on you! Right here, who is the director, the head director, and then Melanie Davenport as well. She's the director of the water permitting division, so she oversaw the whole permitting process. Um, we're writing you again today because the DEQ continues to prove itself untrustworthy and inept regarding the permitting of the Atlantic Coast and Mountain Valley pipelines. This is proven by your persistence in pushing forward these pipelines without public input or input from the State Water Control Board despite the board requiring both these conditions in its decision at the December ACP hearing. And all of this in spite of the fact that at the hearings it was the public that revealed you consistently approved inadequate water quality protection plans for these pipelines. Your corrupt relationship with ACP applicant Dominion Energy and its influence on the permitting process for both of these pipelines has been made ever obvious. And this is especially so after the revelation that ACP LLC reported its own violations while tree felling. This proves that DEQ is not monitoring pipeline appli applicant activities, but is instead allowing the pipeline applicants to ensure their own compliance. The public cannot be sure that these violations were not reported simply as a PR stunt to make the pipeline applicants look like good Samaritans while they're covering up even greater violations. We the people that you are responsible for protecting do not trust you, and we the people demand better. Because of the above, we ask that you do the following immediately. Revoke the approval of any plan submitted since the December hearings, including the most recent approval of the erosion and sediment control plans for the MVP that you announced Monday but hid for weeks. 
and reinstate the public's ability to comment on plans, those plans submitted since the December hearings and any new plans submitted in the future for either pipeline. Reinstate the State Water Control Board's autonomy over the approval process for plans submitted since the December meetings and any future plans. Use the DEQ's regulatory powers to halt the progress of these pipelines until the most thorough review of the water crossings, which is site-specific permitting for each individual impacted water body, has been performed. And David Paylor likes to say that they've done the most thorough thing ever. In every press, press release he says that, but clearly that's not the case. And directly to David Paylor and Melanie Davenport, resign from your positions. Mr. Paylor, you have received gifts from Dominion Energy, and both of you signed off on the hiring of a third contractor to review the water quality protection plans for the pipelines that was also contracted to Dominion Energy. Again, you have been so clearly corrupted by Dominion.